Okay, so I don't have any makeup on. I just washed my face. I already put on um, some coconut, you know, some olive oil therapy. I don't know, some olive oil thing. So now I'm gonna put lotion on my face. Okay. First, let me just clear that out because I don't. I wish, and I wish, and I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay. This video is gonna be all over the place. I'm disappointing because I'm just gonna do another makeup thing but honestly I haven't posted in a long time and that's because I keep telling myself like oh you're not doing good content so don't post anything but no okay because this foundation that I'm gonna use makeup forever I mean it's a good formula I think it's a little bit too oily for me but I didn't really like look into it too much I just went in Sephora and I was like give me something do you notice something do you notice something it's like 10 shades darker than my body so so first I'm gonna start off with this primer that there's no more primer, but I'm just gonna like do the best I can and like. <laughs> now I'm gonna put this um, eyeshadow primer. Y'all already, I've done so much makeup tutorials that y'all probably like know each step by step. I'm sorry, like I apologize. Like a lot of pictures are lost and I'm hoping I can still like, Rihanna don't kill me, but I straight up just, where is it? Rihanna don't kill me, but I straight up just, <clears throat> okay, so putting on that dark ass foundation. Here we go. Nice. I don't know why, but like uh, the sun's leaving. Come back. I have to blend all the way down to my trachea. Um, as you can see, I just got ten shades darker. <laughs> Maybe I'll just wear like a different shirt. Dude, my hair is so bad in this video. I'm sorry. I promise I took a shower. Like. That's why it looks like this, because my hair's frizzy. It's not nice. Who's this girl? Who is she? Here, it is. I feel like you can't see the makeup well in this. I mean, I wanted to talk about like people judging you because you're single. like. I know it's not a real thing, like people don't actually judge you, but some people are so weird about it. Like this one girl that worked, she was like, it was it was the weirdest thing. She was really like, hey, um, she actually doesn't work with me. She's an intern. Oh my God, I'm saying way too much things about her. So she was like, so do you have a boyfriend? Because she was talking about her boyfriend. I was like, oh, that's so nice. Like, cool. And she's like, so do you have a boyfriend? And I was like, oh no. And she was like, what? And I'm like, yeah, no. And she's like why i was like girl like I, I never get why people go why why what do you mean why doesn't even make i'm trying to like think but it doesn't make sense to me and I, see i don't know how to answer that so i was just like oh i don't know and she, oh and she was like oh my god oh it's because you're trying to be right like you're not looking like it's because you don't want a boyfriend right and i'm like what so if i wanted a boyfriend i'd have one already is that how it works technically like According to her, like, if you want a boyfriend, you have one. If you don't want, you don't have one. Like, <laughs> I've definitely talked to people, as you can tell on YouTube. Like, I've put my business out there. I've talked to guys, but and I've kind of liked some. But I don't... Oh, my God. This eyeshadow has gone wild. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm very picky about who I make my boyfriend. And even though I've dated some guys, and I'm like, oh, maybe. And they wanted to be maybe, but... I don't know, I just think about it and I'm like, no, because I'm not I don't I'm not the kind of girl that just dates somebody for a month, for a week, and then I'm like, bye, you know, like I'd rather talk to them. If I date somebody, I want to date them for a while. So I guess I'm picky, but I'm picky because you have to be picky. You can't be like, oh well, you know, he's a drunk, but let me just make him my You know what I'm saying? Well, like I did drop Tinder for a long ass time after that video I made, but but I I before before okay, ow. I couldn't really tell. I feel like that's what I do so much. I just block people. I'm like, you know what? You offended me. It's a block for me. I don't know. I'm just like having fun right now, I guess. Like I haven't really like talked to anybody since for like a couple months, but it kind of feels good because I'm like not on my Snapchat being like, did you look at my story? Oh my God, what does he think about my Instagram picture? You know, like I don't, I don't even feel that way anymore because I have nobody to feel that way for, but I kind of like it. I'm gonna put eyeliner on, pray that I can do it okay. It's not perfect, like this edge is definitely messed up, but we'll fix it again at the end. 
concealer, true match. So I kind of like, when I started going back to school, I kind of stopped going to the gym as much because studying and all that stupid, boring things, but great, I have another tattoo now. I, start, I started going again, but I mean, I definitely see a little bit of a change, but since I stopped, since I took a break, I don't see a, as big of a change anymore. Like I could have been somewhere, but I'm not, but I'm trying. It's just hard because like I, I'm self-conscious and I'm like, as you can tell, I'm like very thin and I don't want to be, I've never wanted to be this skinny. Like I've been skinny since I was in middle school. So I like, I hated it. And everybody would make fun of me. I'm not even kidding. They'd call me sticks and bones. They'd call me like, oh my God, they'd call me so much names. I think I blocked them out <laughs> and like skinny mini and all that shit. But, and a lot of people like would make fun of me because they thought it was okay. I just, I don't know. Like obviously middle school can be a hard time and high school too. And people would knew me, literally knew me as a skinny girl. They'd be like, do you know Allie? And I'd be like, Allie, Allie, Hispanic? Yeah, Allie, the skinny girl. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, you know, they're like, I'm not calling you fat, I'm calling you skinny though. It's a compliment, take it as a compliment. No, honey, because when you're calling me skin, when you're calling me sticks and bones, that's not a fucking compliment. Also, there was this one girl in my theater class. I don't know what I did to her, like there was really no reason. I think she had body issues herself, honestly, because she was always like, she was kind of a little bit strange and I just feel like she had body issues, but like, she took it out on me because literally I remember one time I walked into I walked into class, sat down, and I just looked at her and she was already looking at me like this. She was literally sitting in her chair and she was like, like watching me walk in, she was like, and I'm like, girl, what are you good? Like, why are you staring at me like that? I was like, okay. And then like, her, she was friends with this one guy that, well, he was ugh, so annoying. I did not like him either. Like, I think he had a crush on me in the beginning of school and then I was like, no, I don't like you. And then he literally was an asshole the rest of the semester. Whatever. So she was friends with him, so they both fucking hated me. And then she, the guy said something like sticks and bones or something like that. And I was just like, what'd you say? And then the girl was like, you know, nobody likes people like that, right? I'm not kidding. I'm not making this up. Like, this really happened. <laughs> I was like, what? And she's like, um, you know, nobody likes that. Like, guys don't like that. Guys want girls to have curves. Like, nobody likes that. And I was like, I'm sorry, bitch. Like, who the fuck asked you? I'm sorry. I didn't know my body wasn't made to please men. I'm so sorry. Like, I apologize. It was so dumb. I was like, okay, and I was not nice back then. Let's just say that. Like, I was nice, but if you would like say something like that, like what she just said to me, I wasn't gonna fight back. I wasn't just gonna be like, like sit in my desk, <laughs> even though I should just like ignore her, sat in my desk. But girl, she kept she kept talking about it. They were both talking about it. So I said something rude to her. Like I don't remember what, but I was like, bitch, I'm not talking about your body. I'm not talking about how you look right now. So don't talk about me. Like I like went off on her, and she just didn't say anything. She was like, <sighs> I wouldn't. I don't want to like make somebody feel bad because. What the fuck? Like the whole point of me feeling bad is that I can't help how I look. So why would I make somebody else like they can't help how they look feel bad? But since she was being so rude to me, I just like, I was like, girl, I'm not making fun of your body. So shut up, you know? And she got upset and I was like, girl, I don't know what to tell you. Like you're sh straight up targeting me, but. This is bronzer. You put in all row three. You go do this. I'm gonna use this. Oh, just kidding, here it is. So I got this. I'm gonna use that Rihanna Fenty again. I don't know why I said it like that again. Again. I'm just actually I said it like that because I fucked it up really hard. I fucked it up. My favorite part is putting on some nice highlighter. Oh my god. I'm gonna overdraw my lips and hopefully it doesn't look bad. Okay. Do I look like Kylie Jenner yet? Uh, were you supposed to look like Kylie Jenner? Kylie Jenner lip challenge. Oh. I don't know why anybody would wanna look My mom just roasted Kylie Jenner on YouTube. Everybody, Kylie Jenner, respond to this. You got <laughs> Like I said, my lips are already naturally lopsided, so. So this is the finished product. Um, I'm gonna fix the eyeliner because some some stuff is going on. Um, I have to fix I have to fix this lipstick because it, oh my god I can't I have to fix this lipstick because hello uneven and um, I have to do my hair for sure. But like this is it. Be like, hey guys. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry it was boring.
<sighs> it's my first video in a while, so I'm just gonna give myself a pass for this one. I will make a better video next time. Honestly, I have to redeem myself at this point. But thanks for watching me do my makeup once again. Don't forget to subscribe, follow my Instagram, and you know, like it, whatever, do all that stuff, please, thank you. And thank you again, bye guys.